for, for mischievous, a lot of people, they were waiting for more fireworks from uh, Fanny Coyote. And, uh, and it's almost like a tripod. We have Pastor Bart Curry, we have Fanny Coyote, we also have Yinko Dumaki. How did you quench the fire? Well, let me start by saying a big thank you to all the dramatic personnel. You know, the, the thing about me at now over 60, I want to be a peacemaker. Blessed are the peacemakers. You understand? So I want to be a peacemaker so that I can inherit the kingdom of God. <laughs> I woke up very early that morning and I noticed that Chief Ferry Fanikai Ode was online on WhatsApp and my mind told me to reach out to him. So I sent him a text message and I said, FFK, please, in the name of God, I want you to cease fire. Don't attack Pastor Tudebakar. He's our Egon and he's a man that I respect and love dearly. And he responded immediately and said, thank you, my brother. I promise you, I give you my word that based on your intervention now, I will cease fire. And I thank them. And I immediately reached out also to Pastor Tudebakare. And I said, my great Egmo, please, I've, spoke, I've reached out to Femi Fanikai Ode and he has agreed, please, let's all come together. Because if you say you want a Southerner as the next president of Nigeria, if that is possible. And you say you want Southwest to produce a candidate. How come anytime they mention all the potential candidates, if they mention Kayo, they fire me, you will fight. If they mention Tinubu, you will call in names. If they mention Fashola, you will fight. You mention Bakare, you will fight. So how can you have a president when there is no unity in Yoruba land? So that was the basis upon which I intervened. 